bought it when I wasn't drinking. And you saved it for now. I saved it for now. It was two years ago? I bought it when I was a drunk. <laughs> and I held on to it for sentimental reasons. <laughs> <laughs> We're full of the references the last few weeks. Now. Good cheers. Yeah. Good cheers reference. You got that one, right? I did. Okay. All right. I, I knew you would. Goose that to me one more time? Goose? I don't know. Okay. Oh. Captain and Tennille? Oh. How's that? Oh. No more Captain and Tennille. No, now it's just Tennille. And Captain. Oh. But not together. Not together. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, okay. Yes. I thought one of them was dead. No. It's it was my microphone funny. again. Actually, that it, it, it came up the other week too. But it, it, we were talking uh, about with uh, with Mickey Rooney. It's it's like it's like it wasn't it wasn't that like oh he died. It was like he's still alive. <laughs> it was one of those things where it's like I thought he passed. I didn't away. know. Yeah, yeah. There was someone who was it recently this this last week. There was that same kind of thing. It was like I thought he passed away. Someone just passed away within the last couple of weeks. Uh, completely. Well, Mickey Rooney was a couple. No, that was even farther back though. There was someone within the last. Ah, anyway, it's yeah, no, it's same, yeah, no, it's yeah, and there. Well, just the other day, like, cause um, it's like the fortieth. Is it forty? It's got to be longer than that. Um, oh, maybe it's the fortieth. Oh, actually, you know what it was? It wasn't someone had passed away. It was when they were looking for Casey Kasem. Oh yeah, and I was like, oh yeah, and again, I was like, I didn't know he needed to be found because I didn't know he was alive. Yeah, I thought he had passed away. But we I, I was get into that fairly story, certain that is terrible. What yeah. was going on there? There's yeah, some, there's some weird business going on there. Weird biz, and, and I was fairly and you certain. Like weird biz. Yeah, well, and actually, it's like the 40th anniversary of Blazing Saddles. Is that correct? Yeah, it just came out uh, on uh, Blu-ray. They put out like a new box, boxed set of it. So. And so I was looking through some stills they had. It was through USA Today. I was looking, you know, different pictures from the movie, and it's you know Mel Brooks says a, a world without Har- Harvey Corman is a sadder world and, I, and that he was I was like oh I didn't know Harvey Corman was dead <laughs> I don't think I knew that I don't think I knew but, that but uh, I do now you do now he's gone 2008 it said so he's been gone for a few years and the other thing that I also know what do we know we've got another beer from Belgium oh wow we've had Belgian styles oh, we've right. had saisons these farm all these we've been keeping very s- seasonally appropriate I feel yeah. we're looking for lighter things not necessarily in flavor by any means but just you know you know on the lighter end of citrusy uh, yep. you know fruity perhaps you know that that kind of thing like so definitely we don't want to be light on flavor because there's no reason to drink anything if there's no flavor brought to the party we are staying Belgian vodka. focused <laughs> no reason for vodka <laughs> And uh, we continue with we continue with that theme of things that we hope taste delicious with this beer for Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage we're about today is a beer from from Belgium, actually. From the last Belgium. two were Literally actually from Belgium. Yes. Actually from I didn't go to Belgium to get it. Oh. Somebody else did the hard work to bring it to my uh, neighborhood bottle shop, Tap and Bottle. Did Tap and Bottle S- actually fly to Belgium and get it? I don't know, but Scott and Rebecca are that uh, world. They they are world travelers. They're world savvy. They might have. I don't think they did in this case. Maybe no. someday they will do that. But um, yeah. But thanks to them, uh, we're doing one of our. I think it was the time I went down there to talk with them about our upcoming hopes to have them on a podcast to participate, which went very well, as yeah, we all it did. know already. Went very nice. Um, I saw this, and you know, always looking for a, a sour or um, a lambic or uh, or goose or something like that. Or I. Uh, or Gosa, yes. Uh, that that actually that Gosa that we had was from there. Yeah, they the had a draft one. at one point too. Wow, missed that though. <laughs> oh man! But uh, so this is the Cuvée Rene, uh, Cuvée Rene, uh, uh, Goose Alambic beer from uh, Lindemans, and this uh, a Goose is typically a blend of different ages of. Sour beers, or la- lambic beers, actually. Lambic beer, yeah. Um, I have seen at some pl- parts where it says it's a third, a third, a third of like a 12-year and eight, or a 12-month and 18-month and a 24-month. This particular one, if you go to their website, it says that it's two-thirds and a third, two-thirds of a younger and a third of an older um, uh, blend together. So, um, but that's what I've got here. So. It just kind of depends on what, yeah, what flavor profile they're going for, whatever, yeah. then that's kind of comes up to probably the brewmaster i guess at that point like what what they want to get out of it and what and what the wood's doing and what other things you know well since this this is a year-round offering so they are probably going for a certain flavor profile right uh that they're offering uh like i said year-round it's five and a half percent alcohol and uh what's that's what according to this yeah (laughs) according to and then i think the grand crew of it as well right grand crew this this is this is their top one. Usually, that's that's what that means. Yeah. yeah. And you said somewhere on there you noticed this was bottled in 2012. Yeah, so it says that it's, it's aging a little bit. Yeah, which is definitely 
appropriate to the style for the style that it can, yeah. it's you know it's made to sit it's made to age and you had uh, something that was it's a secondary fermentation or uh, yeah you these you are all them? they're all spontaneously fermented in the okay. bottle nice so yeah they usually when they do that then they do are aging it a little bit more do you remember you kind of oh, oh you know what we just realized we needed a cork a opener we a bottle opener need a bottle opener biscuits and gravy all right while keith talks to you <laughs> no i'm just kidding all right we're gonna do a little time lapse here and then i'm gonna go get a cork bottle opener i don't need i already have a cork we have a so cork i don't need that we'll get a bottle opener <laughs> and i'm back he's back and now i have the cork the bottle opener here all right uh so what i was about to ask when i discovered a cork inside this bottle which i shouldn't have been too uh how fancy about. though i know let me start over here uh do you happen to remember what the price was <sighs> no um it no. was fairly reasonable for this style of beer i th- thought it was in the so if they had to travel though to belgium though so there's you know well they've got to add that on. tickets on there but i i for some reason i have like 12 ish dollars in my head okay. so i actually i'm going to be giving scott and or rebecca a call here within the next few days and i will uh, i'll find out okay we'll see if they remember if they st- and if they still have it or not and see by in the case time, we're interested uh, this podcast is already up that call has happened so there's the price there's the information right there, right there. Ooh. I can already smell it. <laughs> I, was, I think I'm smelling the pizza that's cooking already. <laughs> <laughs> Does it, it smells smell of pepperoni, right? Yes. No. And no, I'm already. Crust. You don't smell? No. Okay. No, not yet. Well, we've we've darkened. Yeah, a little darker. Carbonation is there. It's mellowed out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Still has that nice head though. Orange cloudy. This one's a little more orange gold, a little cloudy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I can even in this area. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm sorry I had to get that close to it, but actually, I'm not sorry. I'm going to go in further. Oh, it's making my mouth water already. It smells so delicious. I'm going to need a moment. (laughs) (laughs) Can I I have a little me time, please? (laughs) I need some me time with this aroma. Oh. (laughs) It smells fantastic. You may have to edit this. There'll be (laughs) beep, beep. (laughs) Sorry. This is Great. The first time we ever got a <laughs> explicit rating for yeah. our podcast. Oh. I mean, what do you say? It's just got some nice. Tart, is like, yeah, there's. Sour. It feels like there is like a fresh lemon wedge in there. There's like such lemony tart goodness, but then, but then there's some sweet that's coming through. Yep. Uh, like um, some other, like you fruit. know, but light, light, like lighter sugars. You know, kind of like cane sugar kind of thing. Yep. Not, not molasses, not heavier like that. So lighter. Yeah. Table sugar's not enough. Caramel's too much. Like it's you know kind of somewhere in between. Like I did, yeah, I'm, like a turbo. My brain is or just something. Like all maybe. With yeah, I know. We want to just <laughs> we just want to drink this. I think I think that's what we just need to do. <laughs> we just need to go oh. to the taste. Uh, delayed gratification, right there. Even just only by thirty seconds. There's a little uh, caramely backbone there to that. To yeah, that tartness. Yeah, I didn't get as much tart on the first sip. No. And I thought, oh, wow, that really backed off. And you're right. There was some... But then I took another one, and it like literally felt like it grabbed my tongue. <laughs> like it was it was having at it. That's insane. That's... Like I said, that second sip was completely disparate from the first one. Completely almost opposite end. You really get that... Like I said, and I... And it, to me, it's... it's I'm totally fine with it. You know, usually I'm, sometimes I can be malt-averse. Adverse to malt. It's not that strong. No, 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 no. No, I'm not saying it is. <laughs> I know. I'm oh, just, no, no, no. I'm not saying, at You all. shouldn't even bring that into the conversation. All right. Well, then take close. it out. All no, right. no. I'm just saying that. No, I want you to, but I'm just but saying. You, like, just sometimes if there's a malt present, I uh, that's, that's you know, I get like I a little weird. I don't think it's actually the malt. I actually think it's like something with the hops, with like the stronger like hops no. blended into it. Okay. No, I could, it could be. Because like if it was just malt, like if you ever drank like an amber or a bach like do you feel the same way about those because oh, those yes. are all about oh really yeah that's oh, why never i don't really then. enjoy those well then <laughs> i haven't i haven't, like, I haven't oh, enjoyed like, a good brown or a i haven't enjoyed a brown or a, a, anything bachy in a while oh okay i just don't yeah it, it's just right now okay that's so it not is the sweetness okay because usually we're always referencing it when it came into barley wines which is always so hoppy and heavy right. and everything else but they have to then s- counteract that with and make sometimes. it heavier for aging right yeah, they can. We're distracting from this delicious. Bit. No, so there is in the middle, it almost like I say backbone because I mean like almost like the spine of this beer goes right <laughs> through in the middle of my palate. Yeah, and it is, and there's a, just a nice amount of malt, and then the rest of that is just like bursting with tart, mar- mouth-watering, delicious. 
wonderful goodness. Try and hold that in your mouth for like more than like two seconds. Well, I, I'm already almost drooling over my microphone. Here. Oh my gosh, that is just, oh wow. Like just try and, you literally feel the front of your tongue just start to tingle and just like almost clench up. That's, that's insane. It's quite unrelenting. All right, so super tart, lemony, citrusy. What are we eating with this? What are we going to eat? Not what we're actually about to eat, but what, what would you, like what... Like, it, what is your mouth screaming out for? Like, for me, it's almost like I need something sweet to counter, counteract this a little bit. Like, something in, in that Actually, in that I could range. go with just one. Actually, even a couple of the snacks we have out there right now. I could go with those olive oil potato chips. Okay. Which would be a nice salty sort of well, compliment. savory in there, too. And that would, and that would, yeah, but that would sort of help with that yeah. extra salivating that I'm doing. It would help. <laughs> uh, uh, even that popcorn. The herby popcorn, that herb and spice popcorn blend oh, okay. would, because once again, salt, but then it would add a different... Okay, that's what I was saying. I'm sorry. I've subtle. Mixed up. What's that? That's what I was saying about when you initially said the... Oh, the, okay. I was already I was thinking the of chips. the savory one. So yeah, yeah. the savory, yeah, the savory yeah. definitely. So I would do that, um, or I would just enjoy Cheese. two more of those bombs. Yeah, but... Uh, you what? probably want some kind of creamy or something yeah. like that. You yeah, want to sort of smooth that out. Yeah, uh, that's you know, you're pretty, looking for things uh, to kind of smooth out these flavors a, a little bit. Zola. Even a even a you could even do a blue with a milder blue, like a saltier blue, like a raclette or something. Mm. Uh, not a raclette. I would say that the um, we have one called the society. That's a, a, a society. A society. You know, we're living it's in a, a society. And it is and it is quite good, but yeah. I, or I might just like I said, just enjoy this all by my all by myself. <laughs> the I, the nose is like the nose is like almost initially of uh, unsweetened lemonade when you've just got the lemon and yeah. water, uh, you know, or you've just started to put yeah. the you've just maybe started to put the sugar in there and you haven't fully mixed it yet and you're kind of starting to mix it so you're not getting all the sweet and you're not get, like the aroma on this is fantastic. Yeah. So when I do call. Scott and Rebecca, which I've already done in real in podcast time. In real time. Um, I'm going to ask them if they have any more of that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I would like to put two more of those into my beer like fridge. Yeah. I'll have to ask them about that. Definitely. Wow. We'll check into that. Every Ooh. once in a while, I do get when it, it's almost... Oh, it's empty. Oh, yeah. I poured every bit of and that. It was only, t- well, it was only 12 ounces. So. Oh, that's true. It's kind of a deceptive bottle. With it a very is. nice, uh, cool logo on here. It's too, like that. Uh, what was that one? That Castile, the Bacchus, um, the Bacchus sour. sour that we like. That's like a twelve point seven, but it looks like this bottle. Yeah, so it's that's deceptive true. Uh, that way. But I like this more than the Bacchus. Oh yeah, but the Bacchus <laughs> was a good intro, which is kind of and, why and why fits. I'm guessing it to probably us. cheaper because I think that's a like little seven. bit. Yeah, yeah, seven. Yeah, this is more. I'm guessing this is probably in the ten range. I I am well, if I, if I did yeah we already so did <laughs> and I think it was yeah I would say it was in that ten it may have even been twelve but I do get like every once in a while when I take it you know a big sniff or even the taste it's almost like because of all these things are so strong all these components going on I'll get um, that little bit of extra funk you like, know I was just about to say there's almost a little cheesy funk in there almost which there is. Would, which definitely would pair you don't, well with like, cheese if you, if you let it sit and you don't you know like you don't smell you still need to breathe, but like, if I let it sit here for a minute, and then like, okay, now I'm gonna take a you know a sniff. It's like, okay, I get the lemon and I get all that stuff. If I go and take another sniff, like right away or fairly quickly, then it's like you get those other things yeah. that are in there, like you said, the you know cheesy, little, almost uh, like a little, little yeah, little funk, funk going on in there. And it's the same thing almost with the taste, where you get a little of this in the taste, and then if you take another sip, you get this is fantastic, it's delicious, absolutely delicious. And yes. what is absolutely fantastic and delicious. Are the reviews and tasting notes at aboutbeverages.com. And all the other exciting, fun content that we, you know, have there and any other suggestions that you might have for said exciting content. Because we're always open to suggestions. We're always open to um, being provided with things to taste, whether they be the actual thing or just, like I said, hey, guys, here's something we really think you should try. Yeah, recommendations we'll do it. are always uh, a good thing. But whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs>